Good evening, everyone. A father of three and his wife were just trying to get home in the middle of the Brent Spence Bridge construction nightmare. A bullet shatters the window, killing Leon Nung. In a story you'll see only on Local 12 News, Deborah Dixon shows us finding three drivers could solve the mystery. Leon Nung and his wife had just enrolled their children in Sycamore schools on July 25th. The family was moving to Blue Ash. But on this early evening, they were trying to get home to Kentucky. If you remember the detour um, of 71 South to get on 75 South, okay. you had to loop around and then come back on like around Lynn Street, coming back off at 50. Nung crept along the 6th Street ramp to southbound 75. Cars were going about three miles an hour. It wasn't unusual to hear horns honking, but at 510, it was the sound of gunfire. Well, seeing. here's the deceased car right here. Nung passes two cars pulled over on the ramp. One is broken down. The other is there to help the broken down. Both say there was no road rage incident. From here, the terrain goes up to another ramp, and the path of the bullet went from here, and that's where it hit him, coming from the top. So we believe it was from an elevated shot. So let's go to the ramp above. This black SUV with tinted windows is what Dieters wants you to see. If someone in this car fired out the window, it would have been at the right place and time to explain the trajectory of the bullet that hit Nung in the top rear of his head. These cars are going very slow. These cars are picking up speed. But if this car got up here and fired, it would be the angle. It would be the tra trajectory we think the bullet went. And these two vehicles would have been in the right place to see if that happened. But police can't find the drivers of this red work van or this PT cruiser. Dieters does not believe Nung was the target. If I had to guess, I'd say somebody upset about traffic and the way it was flowing, and they were upset and took a shot. Wrong place, wrong time. It doesn't seem to be enough explanation. Now, I, this could so easily, in, the, in all that traffic, have drivers who saw something and heard something and just haven't pieced it together as yeah. some way to help. And, and they're looking for all three of those drivers, especially the SUV because of where he where he was. Yeah. yeah. Joe Dieters is convinced though it was from a car. Is that right? It wasn't well, someone walking or on one of those over. It's just well, the trajectory leads them back up to that ramp. Yeah. And he's offering twenty five hundred dollars, Wheel of Justice twenty five hundred dollars, five thousand dollar reward. And if you were the twenty fifth on that freeway at busy, busy five ten uh, call Crime Stoppers if you have anything, even if you don't think it's good information, it could very well be. Yeah, and help this family. Exactly. Deb, thanks very much. Okay.